What up, man? Central Coast Disc Golf is bringing you some more Dynamic Discs, DiscGolf.io, and True Flight sponsored Disc Golf action. As always, Dynamic Discs is sponsoring a Dynamax giveaway, so make sure to like and comment for a chance to win. Uh, speaking of DD, they just got in some sweet looking new Ranger bags, uh, so make sure to check the website for those. I'm a huge fan of that bag, really love mine. Uh, DiscGolf.io is the place to go if you're a Disc Golf Club or attorney needs a presence on the web. Really nice guys with a great product. Uh, True Flight Collective is my buddy Garrett Tatkin's uh, disc golf company. I check out his website for some sweet hats. Um, Garrett and I will both be at the Wintertime Open, so say hi if you see us. Uh, Garrett will be playing because he's actually good. Um, <laughs> my buddy Derek and I will be filming and uh, hopefully putting out some next day vids for you guys. I, I also wanted to give a huge thanks to our Patreon subscribers. Uh, you guys are a huge part in making it financially possible for us to do what we do. Uh, but anyway, let's watch some disc golf. Alright guys, Ian and Alex from my Central Coast Disc Golf. Got a little more Worlds coverage. We got our round six league card. Ready to watch it, Alex? I'm ready. Let's do it. Alright guys, we're back at part two. Uh, Ricky Waisaki, Paul Uliberry are tied at the top. Uh, Paul McBeth, three back, and Nate Dobbs, two back of that. And we're starting off on hole ten. Uh, one of the shorter holes, a pretty good uh, backhand ante or forehand hole, but there's dangerous OB all around the basket, Alex. Yeah, just don't skip too hard. You'll be fine. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Just do that. Put it in the chips all day long, man. <laughs> Dude, Paul is killing it. He really is. Uh, Nate Let's hold on to that lead. Yeah, right. Busting out the forehand right here. Also, a pretty good looking line. Rolls back in bounds. Yeah, did it kick off that little OB uh, peg right there? Yeah, some three time world champ love from the yeah. course. Nice. Ricky Waisaki with a pretty solid looking forehand as well. Okay. Yep, there's that. <laughs> Here's Paul McBeth to uh, try and match. I think it's a little bit of a higher line, but looks like it's working. Looks good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you throw a forehand. <laughs> yeah. I hope everybody's paying attention. And uh, Nate Doss with the only actual putt which he makes. Nice and, shot. Uh, Paul has no problem with that. And uh, Ricky and Uliberry tapping in, and that's another star frame, Alex. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I think that's number six on the round. Man, they must feel the end of Worlds coming. Right. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, still tied at the top. Uh, pretty much the same order there. And we're on to hole 11, 685, par 4. One of the tougher par 4s in the course. Um, just a layup shot on your drive, and then the second shot where the danger really comes in, Alex. The second shot here is so crazy. Like, it's a blind, very extreme hyzer with a lot of OB going on. Yeah, OB left and right of the basket. Yeah. And it's, what, maybe like 30, 40 feet wide? It's really tight landing area. Yeah. It's tough. Nate Doss on the box. Just a nice smooth pull. These guys can definitely throw too far on this one, so it's more of a little placement shot. And that's a perfect spot for Nate. He might even be able to see the basket from there. Yeah. Uh, Rick opted for the forehand. Didn't see too many of those, but when you're Ricky Waisaki, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's going to come in on the left-hand side there mm -hmm. and then finish right. And you yeah. want to be more right. Yeah, true. Right? Like, that's going to give you a, a better look at the basket. Yeah, as long as you're not line. in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's Paul McBeth. Looks like the one of his uh, champ firebirds. Yeah. yeah, that's that one with the sweet die on it. Yep, and that's pretty perfect spot. So Paul probably finished a little farther left than he wanted, and has this for a second, and rips out a huge hyzer bomb, and you never know it's, it's going to work when you throw it, but it looks like that one did stay at bounds of Alex. I think so. Yeah. It looked like he was well short, though. Yeah. Uh, did it make the best second shot? Could definitely get it there from where he was. Pretty perfect spot. Crazy John's head right there. And a really nice second shot for Paul. Safe. Yep. Just barely. If it rolls down that hill, there's OB down there, right? Yeah, exactly. Rick also throwing up that big old hyzer bomb. And this one's going to come a little short, it looks like. Ooh, that might even be OB. I think he is OB. She's signaling green, but he, he's, green actually, flag. he's actually OB, though. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's depressing. Yeah, it's, it's psyching him out for some reason. 
I think Macbeth paid her off. Dang. Yep. Mind games. Yeah, right? Uh, Doss throw the big hyzer, but that looks a little short as well. It's a fortunate tree kicks, though, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Kept the movement. He's bounce. in the same vicinity there. Yeah. Uh, Rick's out. Not much to do there. Kind of in jail when you're on the left hand side there. And here So, is. Uli definitely went out. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Rick might have been just inside. Yeah. If the spotter's to be believed. Oh, that was uh, Uli's third, though, so he might he must have stayed in. Oh. And there's right. Dodgers laying up and. It's longer hold than I thought. Yeah, power four is tricky. <laughs> and see if Macbeth can get this birdie. Oh. Could have got one on the card right there, Alex. And he's usually online with those. He is, you know, right? Like, sometimes he goes high because yeah. he's so aggressive, but rarely see him go left or right. You see, he's definitely annoyed at missing that one. I'll oh, so you're right. When you're Paul Macbeth, yeah. Ricky with the penalty stroke. Did he get the bogue right there? Yeah, everyone yeah. else took the par. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not going to ease up on the uh, the hardness meter here, Alex. <laughs> The whole nope. 12 here. <laughs> Throwing out of jail over some uh, open area and then back into jail. And let's see if uh, Euliberry can hold on to that one stroke lead. That he just got from Rick. Nice looking forehand right here. Yeah, that's going to come back. Uh, I think he's in bounds. Yeah. Should have a safe up shot from there. Yeah, it's a little more open on the right, if you can call that open. Yeah, it, it's pretty impossible to run your putts on this hole, right? Because yeah. it's so locked in those trees. Yeah, you're really going to be like 15, 20 feet out to even have a, a clean line. If you even have that. And then Nate Doss just piped it right up the middle, Alex. Wow. Wow. Did You'll not, have a nice pretty look. Yeah, I did not see too many better drives than that. And uh, McBeast on this scary, scary tee box. Ooh. <laughs> Almost thrown for one from the drop zone right there if he didn't squeak <laughs> out. <laughs> and uh, Rick also throwing a forehand. Which uh, does have the advantage. You can see your gap when you're throwing forehand. Oh, nice skip on that, too. Wow, he goes He's a little past long. the basket, <laughs> which I don't think I saw anyone else do. Yeah, that's almost impossible to do. Macbeth taking this high line and gets most of the way there. Should have a par. And I'm looking at Paul's second shot. Ooh, a little short. And yeah, uh, safe though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Rick went a little long. Has his comebacker for a bird? What? Oh, man. Oh, come on. No love right there. It's the weak side and it just falls out. Yeah. Ooh. Nate does squeaks it in there for a birdie. Getting one on the card. Always nice. Well done. Euliberry? Tapping on the par. Along with uh, the other pole. And Rick. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. Par on that one's not too bad though. It, it, it plays, I'm pretty sure, right around par on the, for the field. Yeah. But uh, I'm next to this hole 13, 625 foot par 4. Um, one of the easier par 4s. It's not super, super long. And there's no crazy dog leg or anything. Yeah, I guess the only catch is if you flip something too much and go be right, or uh, the fairway actually has like a slant going from high on the right to low on the left. Mm -hmm. So if you throw like the wrong kind of hyzer line, you can come down and have it skip and go OB. Yeah, I can totally see that. So the same play, playing against that. Yeah, exactly. You little knows what to do. Just popping that forehand out there, and I, I think Paul's gonna throw that as well. It looks like he's got his pop top star destroyer in his hand. Solid looking rip. Out there and safe. Yeah, that's that's really all you can hope for. Yeah. You're not gonna reach this one in one. Yeah. And Rick is pumping out his monster forehand and just booms it. If I get a purple D one, can I do that? <laughs> I think that's what they're trying to tell you. But I don't know, I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> Paul Euliberry with his second shot. Wow. Goes a little long left. Gonna have a tough putt for a comeback or birdie. And McBeast going forehand, forehand. Forehand's kind of the riskier shot here. I mean, you can go OB where, with a hyzer shot. Uh, 
Oh, and he does. That's that's foreshadowing, kids. Yeah. <laughs> With a backhand hyzer, you just kind of will hit him like it's that bunker. Yeah, you're totally right. Kind of surprised he didn't go with that option. But Nate Doss got some confidence in that forehand. Rightfully so. <laughs> Great shot. Pretty much parked. And let's see if Ricky can match that. I need to get this one to come down a little bit. Yeah, a little long. But stays in bounds. Yeah, just in bounds. Mm -hmm. So Paul's outside the circle right here. And it's going to be for Birdie. And his Anheuser putt probably makes this more difficult, yeah? Yeah, just a little bit. Or not. Or or it makes it really easy. Okay. <laughs> sure. He's nice, on fire. Nice putt, Paul. He really is. Just lights out all day. Uh, Rick, a little comebacker birdie it right here. Oh, no. I don't see Rick leaving short too often. Yeah, so close. That's, what, his third or fourth putt that's happened like that? Yeah, it really is. So Paul went OB, has this to save a par. McBeasted that one right in there. Life must be so easy when you can putt like that. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Nate! Oh, man. No. Wow. You gotta pay attention uh, all the time. He knows you should have had that. Uh, yeah. This golf, man. Turn your back and there's another stroke. But uh, that's bringing us to hole 14, uh, 910 foot par 5. And there's a couple OB islands in the middle of the fairway, Alex? Yeah, you want to just, like, you can't run this with everything or you'll end up OB. Yeah. Uh, you just want to lay up in front of that thing, and then with your second shot, drive over the both of them. Yeah. And I mean, hopefully you'll have some kind of eagle look. Yeah. I mean, you and I could throw as hard as we want, but uh, these guys are probably <laughs> laying up a yeah. little bit here. <laughs> That's right, the OB does not come into play. No, it's probably right around 450, 470 to get to the OB. Yeah, yeah that's a great shot by Nate. Yeah, it just comes up just short of it. You can see the basket down there by the tree. And this guy will definitely have to choke up a little bit, but he's throwing him with Star Destroyers, and that looks uncorked, Alex. <laughs> that's his pink flippy one that he yeah. usually uses for, like, crazy distance. Yeah, and he got crazy distance, unfortunately, though, there. It looks like he landed in the OB Island. Yeah, he probably just didn't want to put as much on it. Yeah. Perfect spot, though, but uh, looks like Rick's kind of playing a little safe off to the left there. Yeah, that didn't look like nearly as far as he could have gone. Yeah. That one looks about as far as he could go, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. What a crush. Wow. Huge, huge second shot from Ricky. And uh, Eagle's definitely doable for these guys with pro-level power. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yulabar, he's got that for in spades. Wow. Well, Unreal. Yeah, really well. Played this with my buddy Corey. He eagled it. Had like a 30 foot putt. Wow. S searching for Silky if you're on uh, our disc golf. Dude, nice bombs. work, Corey. Yeah. And then Nate Doss. Good looking second shot. He's going to have a legitimate eagle putt. And uh, Paul taking the OB stroke and looking at his third and just going to try and get up and down for a, a birdie. It must be nice to take an OP stroke and still be going for, for birdie. <laughs> right? Yeah. Most people don't have that option, and he actually went a little long again with that. Wow. That pink destroyer goes real far. <laughs> and then here's Rick for Eagle. That was a weird putt from Ricky, Alex. Yeah, that was not online. No, I don't think I've seen him miss that badly in a while. I mean, he, he plays the, the hyzer angle. Like, I've seen him throw right and let him just kind of fade in. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. what he was hoping for there, and it just didn't quite come out right. Yeah, it's a sick eagle from Eulaberry, though. And uh, here's Paul, the comebacker for a bird. Ooh, left that mm. just a little bit short. And uh, Nate to try and match uh, Eulaberry. Get another eagle on the card. Wow. There's a putt. That was dead center. Perfect putt from Doss. So uh, two eagles, birdie, and a par. Pretty ridiculous scorecard right there. Yep, doing work. Yeah, absolutely. Paul's not stoked losing strokes right there. But uh, Eulaberry stretching that lead out to three. And uh, that's going to bring us to, what are we going to hold, 15? 815 foot par four. Pretty good dogleg left at the bend. 
Um, play on this one's kind of just left of that porta potty down by that tree somewhere. And Eulabur pumped it out and <laughs> almost hung wow. it out in OB, Alex. Yeah, he hung that way out there. Yeah. But that, that faded in nicely. Yeah. Gave him the skip. Man knows his discs. Uh, Nate Doss up next after carding an eagle in the last hole as well. Is that his force again? I think it is. Yuha's getting a great shot of it. And uh, Ricky Waisaki up next. Let's see if he drops on us right here. Curls it up, booms it out. Oh, he's going way out there. Falling the Yulebear line. Yeah, he really is. Nice drive. Yeah. Ricky. Hopefully that tree doesn't come into play too much. And Paul Macbeth ripping that pink Star Destroyer again. Throwing it real far again. Yeah, he gets out there past the path. Yeah, anything past the path is a yeah. pretty good bomb. And you can see a basket way down there. Starting to run up on the chase guard. Yeah, we are, huh? So Eulabari's second shot. And it's just a backhand hyzer. It's a pretty good rip, though. Probably still about 300 for these guys, 350. Yeah, you can't see the pin from here, so you just got to kind of know where it's at. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like he's coming in bit left from his perspective. Yeah. Short. Love a putt, though. Yeah. You can make it. Yeah. As we've seen. <laughs> uh, Doss's second shot right here. Also taking that backhand hyzer line. And that's pretty good, Alex. Wow. Nice. Yeah, if you had five more feet on that, that would have been in. Right? Nice shot from Dawson's. Looks like Ricky's kind of dealt this tree a little bit. Hopefully it's not in the way too much. Looks like he found a line. Yeah. Maybe crouched just a little bit. He's enormous. Yeah. Wow. Great shot. Damn. Unbelievable Great shot Great shot. Yeah. Blind and everything just parks it. Uh, Paul Macbeth with his second. The basket's just left of that tree. And, uh, that's pretty nice. Excellent. Yeah, that'll work. Is that one of his more stable rock threes? Just came out there? I don't know which... I don't actually don't know what that disc is. I'll have to ask him. Light blue. Yeah. Now, Yulabari, a little outside the circle putt. Mm. Wow, he actually missed his step putt. <laughs> it does happen sometimes, I, I guess. I know. I'm actually... It's kind of amazing. I'm surprised him when it doesn't go in. He bangs him so consistently. Uh, Doss with his birdie look. Nice. Yeah, really nice putt from Doss. Squeaks that in there. Mm -hmm. He's a low putter. You notice that? His low, yeah. low spin putts. They go in, though. McBeast, Mash Doss. Eh. Not a low putter. Yeah, nope. He's like dead center, dead center, pretty much every time. Did you watch that video of him making like 50 in a row? Yeah. Pretty Disgusting. ridiculous, yeah. Yeah. And none of them dropped out with 50 in the, in the cage. Also pretty crazy. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Up next is a hole 16 and another par 4, 800 feet. Again, just a placement shot on the tee. Try not to land in any of these bushes or OB. And then your second shot, you're throwing over OB pretty much the entire way to a little choke point. It's a really tough hole, Alex. Yeah, it definitely requires some accuracy and some distance. Yeah. And that's a pretty perfect landing spot from Nate. I mean, a little farther down if you want, but there's no problem at all. Yeah, it looks like you're kind of on the, the edge of the, the wide part of the fairway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? So they're going to just try and put it out by you and then throw it over that long, narrow part. Yep, you can see it through those trees. Standing yeah. right down there in that crowd. Yeah, anywhere right in front of me, right here is pretty perfect. Right cool. in front of you. It's pretty perfect. <laughs> Wow. Nice shot from Macbeth. And uh, here's Eulaberry. This might be a little farther left than he wants. But, eh. Uh, as long as you're not in that bush, you're alright. Yep. So, Eulaberry with a second shot. Man, Eulaberry has great form. He really does, right? Yeah, he's really awesome to watch. Yeah. That one did come in a little short left, though. Didn't quite make that gap you need to hit it here. Yeah, the trees over there are not OB, by the way, so no. he's okay. Oh, okay. He's just kind of, yeah, I mean, he has to deal with the trees. Yeah, 
That's its, its own penalty That's right there. Penalty. Yeah. Rick also fading out a little early. But somehow fought through Alex. <laughs> yeah, he'll have a look. Yeah. Gonna be interesting, but I'll have a look. Right. As you, as you can kind of see the fairway here, and that the fairway leads right to the gap you need to hit. And then here's Nate's pull. And that's looking pretty tasty, Alex. Nice shot. Wow. Fades in right through the gap, and he's, what, 15 feet from the basket. Wow. A little shot. McBeast with a second. That Man, look just, at that thing. Just going straight. Past the pin. Wow. Unbelievable. Did not see many <laughs> go long on their second shots here. Jeez. So, Ulibari, not much. Looks like he's going to throw a little forehand out. That was nice. Yeah, for, for what he had. <laughs> yeah. And Ricky for Bird. Pretty good go from there. Yeah. Had a little push in his face playing defense. Mm -hmm. Nate Doss for his birdie. Oh. oh. And uh, Paul get a stroke on the card right here. Makes this a uh, 25 footer. Gets it. Bang, bang. It's Pop Paul. He's heating up. He is. Ulubari tapping, Ulubari tapping in for par. There's me hanging out with Simon and uh, John Macbeth back there. What's Simon telling you? Something, something really cool. I, can, I don't know what it is. Probably how to, how to throw 600 feet. Hey, you just do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's super easy. Use your right hand. Yeah. <laughs> There's Doss tapping to his par after missing that, that birdie putt. And that is going to bring us, guys, the whole 17. 950 foot par 5. Ulibar has got two stroke lead over Rick, and Paul Macbeth has the box. And that gap out there between those two tree trunks is probably about 400 from the box. Get an idea wow. how far these guys are throwing. Look at that thing turn. Unreal. Oh my god. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. You that must been that was 500 feet. That was, that was easily 500 if not more. Wow. Unreal. Nate Doss with his pull. Looks like he's trying to take the same line, but it's fading just a little bit more earlier than he wanted there. Did kind of fight through. It's not going to be the worst spot, but it's not what he's looking for. Yeah, you got to kind of take a weird hyzer route from, from over there. Yeah, exactly. He's left of that tree line. Ooh, Rick took a nasty kick there. Dang. Yeah, he'll have about the same look. Mm-hmm. Uh, Euliberry, it looks like he held on that, that one a little too long, but actually kind of worked out. Yeah, that's good. He's <laughs> yeah. down there. Found a gap down there. Uh, Ricky's second shot looks like he's going to bust out a forehand. He's got to throw around this tree and then hopefully hit some kind of gap. Wow. Wow. Good job, man. <laughs> I don't think he could do much better from where he was. Yeah. So that was really impressive. And has her forehand shot. Yeah, pretty sick. And then Nate going with the backhand hyzer. And he's just going to throw over all the trees here. Get as far down as he can. Not a bad idea, right? Yeah, so this second shot, like, you can see there's all these scattered trees in here. It's a low ceiling, too. Yep, Steve Rico putting it right there. Uh, Hillberry throwing the roller here, Alex. Yeah, like, he sees so many tree trunks in front of him, but he doesn't even try to go through the air. Yeah, it's a tough tough roller there though, a lot of stuff on the ground and here's McBeast with his second shot and he hit the alley Alex oh, oh my gosh man. what? what? oh my god sick you'll never see two better shots in this hole how? Like <laughs> Under, that's like a 400 foot laser beam look at all these trees right here yeah, nah, no big deal doesn't even see him what a shot uh, Nate with his third goes a little long Gonna have a comeback for a birdie. Uh, Euliberry. Throw a little forehand. And looks like that one got a little low, Alex. Yeah, it kicked off some low foliage. Yeah, should be able to get up and down for a par, though. Uh, Ricky's third, trying to set himself up for a birdie. And parked. Nice anti forehand shot again. Yeah. Two in a row. Uliberry. He knows his forehands. He, he really does. Probably the best in the game. 
And uh, Nick Doss has his comeback out of the woods for a birdie. Nice putt from an awkward stance, it looked like. Yeah. And the Eulaber, you're going to tap in the par. Just making minis. <laughs> they, they were worth it. Some prodigy love. Yeah, buddy. And that's how the H1 was born, kids. Wow. It yeah. explains so much. It does, right? And here comes McBeast to tap in the McEagle. Wow. Unreal. That's crazy. That is just nuts. Go, I don't... Pl go play that hole, kids. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you could appreciate that without seeing it in person. No. I I'll throw the other angle at the end of this video. If you skip the end, I'll I have you a Yuha's angle. I'll throw it in. Oh. You, you can see the tunnel he hit is unreal. Here's uh, the gang posing for prosperity. What, posterity? I guess that's the better word. And uh, we're on a little par 4, hole 18. Uh, off the tee, just a backhand heiser. And then it's a relatively up, short upshot for these guys. Yeah, I saw a lot of star frames on this hole. Yeah. Because these guys have the distance. They'll drive out. Um, not much of a risk of, of OB. I don't, I don't think I saw anyone hit these trees on the left. Yeah, unless you saw it off really badly, but they yeah. don't do that. Nate Doss booming it down there, making the corner. And the way Sock throwing it way up there. Somebody's stoked off that. Man. Wow. That was really far. <laughs> He's got like 150 feet to the pin of that. And then here's Eulabari. Hanging out a little wide, but that's going to play. If you get out wide enough, you almost give yourself a little hyzer around these trees. Yeah, he's got, like, he doesn't have to go through this one quite as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there he so is. He can take the hyzer line. Yeah. Smart play. Just parked for the bird. And Nate Doss for the second. Ooh, kind of flirting with those leaves a little bit. But yeah. Makes it through. Parks not scared. Once. Yeah, exactly. That's what he's doing. Uh, Paul with a second shot. That'll work. And there's Ricky with his two. Throw on the forehand because he's Ricky Waisaki. And getting pretty close. So Paul's the furthest one, and he's, what, like 12 feet? Yeah. Looking at uh, another star frame. And I want to say that was like seven star frames this round. That is crazy, man. I'm not, I'm this is a really one. difficult course. It really is. And they did not make it look hard. When I played here, I wept. <laughs> you probably didn't leave with all your discs either, right? No. Three. Yeah. I lost three. <laughs> How was your round, man? Uh, it, was a, it was a rough one, actually. Yeah? Uh, I started out pretty good. Six. Five out of the first six, I think. And then that middle section kind of got me, uh, but I was able to finish really strong. We talk about 17. 17, I was six back, and I knew I knew I needed to make a run, uh, especially with only one round and a final nine left. And I was able to birdie two, and then eagle 17, and then uh, birdie 18 to finish. I saw you looking at that hyzer line on your second shot. You opted for the down the middle. That was. Yeah, I really wasn't gonna go hyzer. No, I was just trying to think how I'm gonna hit this inside line. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> cool, man. You excited for tomorrow? Yeah, semis and then finals. Um, I think we got. I think Nate's got nine on fifth place. So yeah, I, I got so. ten on fifth. So pretty good margin to make the finals. So now I'm just looking forward. So how many back are you? Uh, two back of Yulaberry, one of Ricky. Nice. Hopefully, make be some catchable. We'll see. Cool. All right, thanks, Paul. Yeah, thank you. And caught up with Paul <laughs> and caught up with uh, Corey Higdon searching that is for the Silky. First three ever on that hole. Really? And not only is it the first three ever, but it was a drop-in three. Well, he's an authority. He's been he's nobody around here wait, watching all of us play it, right? Nobody's ever going to play that hole better than that unless they throw the second shot in from 500 feet. True story. True story. <laughs> How was it watching out here today, man? Uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, course play is great because not only do they get to stretch it out, but they have to play placement, conservative, thoughtful golf. And uh, I think it's disc golf, the purest we've ever seen it. Cool, man. Awesome. Sergey Basilki slash Corey Higdon right there, buddy. Hard disc golf famous. Hard disc golf. <laughs> <laughs> and Stu is hiding back here. 
Thankfully, I'm gonna have some help. Hey, now there is a handsome guy. Look at that guy in that blue shirt. Once one sexy devil. Alex. Seahawks. Yep. And there's the man himself, you Akiyamaki. LCG M8 in the house. Ben Baker right there. So the homies we all went to a Kennedy school after the round. Good times. And uh, that is all we got for part two, guys. We will catch you in the final round. And in the final nine. It's going to be epic, Alex. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I already knew, I knew the answer to that question before I asked it. But, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, dudes. And we'll catch you around. Later.